Hey planner friends, I'm going to be doing something a little special today. I'm going to vlog. Um, I am doing some gardening and I'm also going to show you how I'm logging that in my A6 Dailogy. I'm going to show you my garden and um, take you along with me today. I'm going to be going to a greenhouse, a local greenhouse, um, and I'm going to be picking out a few plants. We have some already, but we made a mistake. and. Um, we, instead of getting cucumbers, we got green peppers and we do not like green peppers in this house. We like yellow peppers, orange peppers, red peppers, but not the green ones. They just, I don't know what it is, but they have like this aftertaste. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, yeah. So I need to go to the greenhouse and you pick out a few things, um, to add and I'm going to take you along with me. How exciting. Okay, I'm currently outside on my back porch. This is the section that I'm gonna be logging all the garden stuff. It is in the back with all my other little lists. I don't have too many. My dinners are up here, planner purchases over here. Garden. This is some weird washi that I almost threw away and I'm kinda of glad I didn't. It's from Coco Daisy. Um, yeah, so garden, and then I have like three pages until I get to my ink testing. So, yeah. And later on in this video, you'll see me kind of like group everything together, but I just wanted to show you what I have so far. So, let's go see the garden. here big greenhouse so let's go in and see what we can find Vlogging is officially hard. There are people everywhere, everywhere, and they look at you really weird when they see someone out with a camera, so, and I'm not used to this, so I'm still really self-conscious about it. So I didn't get very much footage inside the greenhouse. I apologize. 
No, it's time to go get some lunch. Time to take inventory of all the plants. If you hear that, we have this little device that buzzes so that um, the critters stay away because sometimes we get good old groundhogs. So we got some hot peppers, we got a purple um, roast, like a sweet bell pepper back there. My herb section. This looks empty, but this is full of seeds for zucchini and yellow summer squash. Um, and then over there is where all of our vine plants are. So, and lettuce. So they planted the lettuce seeds yesterday. So it looks empty, but it won't be for very long. But I couldn't go off of memory, so I brought my planner out with me and I'm okay with it getting a little dirty because this is leather and it can handle it. So I'll go to the back here. I need to mark the page. Vegetables, I'm using my Stabilo because it won't smear when I use a mild liner. So let me do that quick. I'll take inventory and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I think I have everything marked. I just have to double check with my husband about the jalapeno. If it's actually three jalapeno plants or if it's like several different kinds of hot peppers. I'm not sure, but he would know. So I did vegetables my herbs and the fruit. So this should be everything. I did have to cut my washi because it was too far over. And then my oldest son and I, he's six, we decided that we were going to compost this year. Wow, it is really loud outside. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Um, anyways, so I got this little tiny rake to help with the composting because I've been using a shovel to um, mix everything up and that is not the easiest. So let's go over to the compost bin. Um, I started small because I didn't know if this was something I was going to keep up so I didn't want to like commit to a large bin that costs a lot of money. So I just used something that I had laying around in my yard already. So let me just close this guy up. And I'll show you my compost bin. I'm also working on making myself some stickers. I'll show you that in a bit too. Bye garden. Oh, we'll just come up here. We have a pretty large backyard. We're, I'd say we're pretty lucky, but that's why we bought this house. It's definitely for the yard, not for the house. More on that another time. Here's my compost bin. Okay. So I had this really cute um, bin already for years that just kind of sat out front as more as a decoration, but it is getting a second life now as a compost bin. And as you can see, um, it's already doing its job. It's breaking down. We're making some lovely dirt. 
So we throw in grass, dead leaves, um, pieces of fruit and vegetables. And every couple days I come in and I, there you can see a banana peel. So every, like I was saying, every day, every few days I come in and I just kind of turn things, mix it up really good. And then I leave it alone because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. So let me mix it up and then I'm done showing you this. All right. So I'm going to finish up today's vlog by showing you what I have so far. I'm t just currently using my Ollie U-Clip um, to mark my garden page. So this hasn't changed since yesterday. And then I came up with a key and then I'm hoping to somehow like set up a graph or a chart on this page once we start yielding some veggies and whatnot. Um, so I need to mess around with that a little bit, maybe look online for some inspiration. And also I had made some stickers yesterday, but I didn't have them lined up nicely. I corrected that today. I went to cut them out. And this is what I found on my table. Yeah, my oldest son got to it. So that was a horror, that was an ordeal. That was a... Oh, very big ordeal. If um, anyone with children will understand how devastating this feels. Um, so I can't cut them for another couple of days until the next one comes. So that's where I'm going to leave it today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, leave me some feedback in the comment section. And um, if you like vlogs like this, give me a thumbs up so that I know. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.